and welcome back to the channel. This is Thomas Goes Nostalgic, and on this episode, we're going to be finishing up our sewer diorama for our TMNT NECA figures. So getting right into it, we only have a few more details before I can call this project complete. I need to put a resin finish on that water. I need to build my little barrier that I put as a safety net so my figures don't fall off the shelf. I'll do some mortar around um, the brick. So first let's get started with this resin because it takes a long time to dry. So I'm basically just going to pour the resin. I put a bead of hot glue as a border and I'll use up this resin bottle to start my water. Now this will take a long time to dry, so once I poured it all in, you pretty much just wait. So I'm gonna try and do as much as I could while this is drying, just so I can maximize my time and work on some other pieces of the project. So I wanted to use up as much of that um, resin water that I have, but I have some more resin that I'll mix up and I'll use when I go to pour another layer on. So while that's drying, I'm going to take some wooden dowels and spray paint them silver and those will act as some bars that I'll put on the sewer cap. So you can see I built this border to keep the resin in. I'll let that sit for a couple of hours and then I'll paint those dowels in the meantime. So after letting the resin sit for a few hours, it looks awesome. I went ahead and took some hot glue and covered up all of that glue line that you saw and I painted it a neon green so it looks like that ooze is dripping. Next I want to start adding some detail to the brick and I want to add some exposed cement. So for this I just like to use simple joint compound or wall putty. I put it in random spots throughout the diorama and then once that dries I go ahead and paint it a light gray. Next, you might not be able to see it, but I just dabbed some Mod Podge onto the resin just to make it look like the water was bubbling. Just a cool little detail. Um, it'll dry clear, but I just wanted to add a little more texture to the top coat of that resin. And while that cement effect is drying, I painted all of those dowels silver and I glued them into the sewer cap. So that's just a cool detail. If you put some backlighting behind it, it'll be cool to see all that light shine through. So I'm just gonna wait for this mortar to dry and then I can go ahead and paint it gray. So after painting all of the pieces of exposed cement gray, I gave all of the brickwork some black wash so this will just fill in all the cracks if there was any exposed foam the black wash should cover it up and fill in those gaps and after the black wash dried i'm gonna go ahead and give everything a coat of mod podge just to seal this diorama i was able to do it while it was standing so i was able to do both sides at once i do not mod podge the ground anymore i used to do that but i found that it was making the figure's feet a little too sticky so really only the walls and the side walls will be getting that Mod Podge um, seal. Alright folks and this diorama is complete so I split it up into two weeks because last week I didn't want to rush and I really wanted to finish off some of the details. I put some of that mortar on to look like exposed cement. 
I put those bars in between the sewer caps and then I poured the resin. The resin was probably one of the most time consuming things. It takes a really long time to dry, but I really wanted to make sure that I got that right. And I thought just to cap it off, I used a lot of hot glue on the end just to make, make it look like that sewer water or that ooze was coming off the side of the diorama. So at this point, I wanna start getting some figures on, but first I'm gonna do a special unboxing. And right on time to finish this diorama, I got my mousers in the mail. So I ordered these quite a few months ago. I think everyone's starting to get these in the mail today and I am excited to get them on the shelf. There's lots of different variations of those mousers in there. I'm excited to see all the different ways you can display them. In the meantime, I was displaying these mousers from the 2003 cartoon toy line, I believe. These are pretty cool. They actually did look good with the NECA figures. I like that they have these articulated jaws that are kind of spring-loaded. Pretty cool. So we're gonna put these back with our 2003 turtles that I have. I might do a video on those in the future, but for now, let's get these NECA TMNT mousers open. So just looking at the box for the mousers, pretty cool. Um, it does have that standard design on the box. I do like the artwork inside of the Technodrome. Uh, when you look on the back, this is kind of one of my big, um, not complaints, just more critiques. When NECA comes out with the box art, they don't change the biography on the back. It's really just the story of the turtles. It would have been cool if they would have uh, maybe given us a story about the mousers telling us when they first appeared. But, um, you know, that's why uh, it's good to get these figures and then you can kind of do your own research and find out the history of the figure. But just a gripe, but let's get these figures open. I'm excited to see some of these accessories and let's check them out. So first, looking at some of these accessories that come in this mouser pack, it is a whole bunch of rats. Now these mousers, they're built to attack rats, mostly to find Splinter, but in the meantime, they will find some of these other rats. So we have that rat eating the slice of cheese that he We've gotten that wrap before, but I don't think we've gotten that wedge of cheese. We've got a slice of pizza, a different assortment of rats. I think we've seen these rats come with the Rat King. The ones with the curled tail, they fit perfectly on the sewer cap. I love that videotape. I'm going to put it on top of the Ninja Turtles TV in their lair. These are just really cool. So cool accessories to come with the mousers. So now let's check out the mousers. All right, and here they are, folks. All in all, we get seven mousers all together. NECA did not skimp out on this pack. And I love that you have a few variations. You just have a few busted up mouser parts over here. You have one that has some dent and damage in it. And then this one is also in some pieces with a rat coming out of it. I just love these. All of their mouths are articulated, so you can have them with the closed mouth. You can have them with their open mouth attacking some rats. Overall, very cool pack. This is awesome. Um, I do love the detail that NECA put into these, and I love that they came with some pretty cool accessories as well. These are great for your displays if you're gonna show them uh, fighting Splinter or just the turtles really beating up on them, putting some damage in here. So just really awesome. This one even comes with a hole so you can put Raphael's sigh inside, pretty cool. So nice little touch, love that. Let's get some more of the figures on and then get this diorama on the shelf. All right, now here's the reason why I built this. I really want to get some of these villains or these sewer dwelling characters off the street scene so I can have some more room for some figures coming in. But these figures fit in perfectly down in the sewer. So I'm going to add some more of this display. I got a lot more of these TMNT figures to open. I'm very excited. But for now, I'm just going to get on the shelf and then get make some room for all these figures that I have to unbox that I've been waiting for. So without further ado, let's get it on the shelf and see how it looks.
All right, everyone, that does it for this episode. If you like this content, leave a like and subscribe and ring that bell so you get notifications of when I post my next episode. Until then, we'll catch you next time.